All right, here's a here's a quick tutorial on uh, how to set up uh, your phone for uh, wireless syncing with uh, a program called Winamp. Uh, what you're going to want to do first on your on your phone or your Android device is uh, download a download the program Winamp, which uh, you can find uh, directly in the marketplace. Um, just uh, I'm, I'm actually working on Shannon's phones because I haven't set hers up yet so this will be a good example so here's the market and I just downloaded Winamp you can do a search for it and uh, install the program and uh, once you get it installed open it up and uh, there will be like a brief uh, tutorial when you first launch your app for the first time but uh, so this is uh, Winamp a different audio player versus the stock um, Android audio player. I, it's pretty sweet. It's actually a, a nice little player. But the nice thing is when you go to, you click your menu button down here and you go to settings. And the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, enable this uh, enable wireless sync option. Make sure that's checked. Oops. And then uh, also, what you you may want to consider is an enable. Uh, the auto mount which uh, changes the USB mode for a different way to uh, uh, sync up music if you want to plug it into the computer and, and like sync a whole folder over um, so once you uh, enable a wireless sync uh, and, and make sure you're on your your own Wi-Fi with uh, your network All right, you can get back out of there what you do is you launch your uh, you launch your uh, Winamp program. You should go to winamp.com or whatever and install the Winamp program. All right, and launch that puppy. And this is uh, let me turn the exposure down. This is Winamp. It's a pretty sweet little program. The uh, it's kind of cool because you can skin this program and make it look how there's a ton of different skins out there. It's they even have a uh, if you're uh, if you want the iTunes look, you can skin it. Let me turn it. Let's turn it down. You can skin it to make it look like uh, iTunes. Um, I would prefer actually the skin called Big Bento. It's a little bit more informative, more informative, but more geeky, so it can get a little bit confusing. So the first thing you want to do is when you start a win app, you're going to want to poke around, just kind of get used to the program. Um, there's a ton of options you can play with and customize it. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go down here to uh, library and you're going to want to add media to library and you're going to want to pick uh, pick uh, the folder that uh, has all your music in it. So wherever you store all your music uh, um, you know, pick that folder, navigate to that folder on your computer and just select it and what it'll do is it'll scan all your music and uh, pull all the data into this program and remember where it's where it's located so you can play it. So I, I've went and I've I've added all my media, but uh, it's all on my network stored stored on my uh, home network that I run. And so I've gotten all 500 plus gigs. You know, here's all my folders. They're all have been selected and it scanned them all and and uh, pulled in all the data. So it knows where the music is. So once you over here on the side, you have a few different options. You can now playing um, your local media, which you're going to use the most. First one is audio. That's the 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 field I like the most. So it shows all all my artists right here that I have on my on my uh, music collection. Over here, let's say you pick an artist, it'll show the album. And then down here is the songs that's on that album or that I've selected. So let's say I wanted to pick, uh, do a search for some Pink Floyd. It's difficult to type in video at the same time here. So what it's doing is it's scanning for Pink Floyd on my 500 gig collection, and it'll pull in all the all the items it's found for this. So you can type in whatever you want, an artist or name of a song or whatever, and it'll pull that up. And uh, so here's all the different artists that it's found. You know, there's maybe some Pink Floyd medleys or, or uh, not medleys, but uh, 
tribute stuff, all, th all different kinds. Over here is the uh, album art, different albums. So let's say I pick uh, Best of Pink Floyd here. And then it'll pick that album. It'll pull in the uh, it's, it, it'll pull in the data and uh, show all the lists of songs and such on the bottom. So as you can see, as I pick the folder, it uh, pulls the stuff in down here. And then you can play whatever song you want uh, on there. So this is a live album I just picked. Up here, you got your controls. Get some cool visual visualizations. If you click that. This is what I used to use um, back in the old Labor Day shows. I used to set this up so it would use these visual visualizations, which are pretty sweet, and uh, use the projector, and it went along with the, our music that we were playing live. Anyway, so you get the idea. So we'll go back here to, um, we're going to go back here to Media Library. So the thing is to get poker on Winnie. I've tried to get used to it because, like I said, there's so many options. It's got a built in browser and all kinds of stuff. But the cool thing is, if you go down here on your list, um, see, I can st you can sort by most played, all that stuff. Um, it's got uh, um, some online uh, uh, internet radio stuff. You can po podcast, all that crap. But, uh, all right. So anyway, the the cool thing is if you uh, if you do go down here to uh, devices, you select that, and if you remember, we set up uh, the phone so it enabled wireless sync. So what what'll happen is here's my phone, the uh, Chris Droid X. So I've already set mine up. Shannon's is not set up yet, so it's down here and, it, and it's under the discovered um, uh, discovered phones or discovered uh, devices to sync up. Sometimes you have to click the discover button and it'll go on look, but this automatically found this phone on my network because she's, you know, she's already connected to the wireless network. Found that on there. So you click on that. I'm going to attach it. Sorry, yeah. When you click on the attach, you go down to your, you, it, this is a one time deal, you always do this once. You go down to your phone. And what will happen is it will come up with a thing here. Do you allow, allow, do you want, do you allow Wi-Fi pairing requests from Winamp? Name, that's my username on my computer. You just hit, hit allow. That's just a one-time deal, first time. And now from now on, it'll, it'll be set up on your Winamp. Uh, now it moves her phone up here into the uh, attached devices. Now when you click on the device, it's kind of neat uh, when you click on it down here. So just click on... Droid X, Chris. This is all now. This this list populates, but this is all the list from my music on the phone. So uh, you can play any of this stuff directly off my phone wi wirelessly. So let's say you had some music on your phone, it was in the upstairs, and you didn't want to feel like going to get it. You can automatically just pick the stuff off here and uh, pick a song. Well, I thought about now that music that's playing is actually streaming from my phone to the network wirelessly. So that's one option. So here's, uh, you can rename these because see here, uh, the second one, Shannon's phone, is called Motorola Droid X. So let's uh, rename that. Since I got two phones here, A and then the one, Shannon Droid X, that way I know which is which. So here's all her, her music on her phone.